Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with some lifestyle favorites and I have so many good ones. And I'm gonna jump right into this. I actually have kind of, the first one is gonna be kind of a favorite and kind of a fail. It's a favorite for what it is, but it's a fail for the material. This is a Terry wrap. And what I bought this for was when I do my self tanner, which I am loving, I had it in last month's favorites, it's Ellis for Living's Hemp that tints just a little bit, and I mix that with my Jergens 3-Day Glow. Love it. It's very damp, and so I have to stay undressed for quite a while. And I don't want to walk around in a towel, so I got this wrap. I love I love having this, and it's, of course, got the Velcro. Stays up really nice. I can go around and, you know, wash my face, walk around the house, put on coffee. What I don't like about it is the dots. I thought these were so cute, but when I put it on, I look like, do y'all remember Little Lotta? <laughs> She's a cartoon. Did she wear dots? It makes me feel like it's, I don't know, like it's just silly. These big dots just do not look good on me. So I have ordered another one in a, it's a spa wrap and it's a waffle, which I think I like better because the heaviness of this kind of hits my legs and I don't want it to splotch my tanner. So I got a waffle and a waffle wrap and it's a lighter texture and um, fabric. So I'll keep y'all updated on that, but I love having a wrap while I do my self tanner. I love it. So I have a black one on the way. Love the wrap. Just not a big fan of the dots. They are Okay, and my next thing is something that I have, it's a brand I've never had before, and it's this, the brand of this top. Or this top. I ordered this online from Kira Grace. And I think this is yoga clothing. Y'all, this is the first time I've ever worn this top and just fell in love with it. It is so comfortable. I love this neckline. I think it's called a halter neckline. And I'll put the style right here. But it's a very stretchy. Doesn't hug me just overly tight. It's kind of a relaxed hug. And um, it's got a built-in bra, no support to speak of, but it does have, um, you know, a built-in bra. A lot of you probably will want to add some support to that. But um, I bought it for a workout top. And that's kind of how I have it on today because I thought I was going to work out in it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep this top for a like a just a regular top I'll wear it with skirts and jeans and it is so comfortable but so cute I don't really want to work out in it but just real comfortable so cute they had a lot of cute styles I will be ordering more from Kira Grace all right and next I have a ton that I've just vlogged around the house so we're gonna go in there and we're gonna vlog a little Okay, y'all, my next favorite is in the kitchen. My next couple are in the kitchen. And the first one is these dishes. <laughs> y'all, I fell in love with these online one night and ordered them from Birch Lane. They are a favorite and so are these dishes. I ordered them on a Wednesday and I got them on a Saturday morning. They got here so fast trouble-free, loved Birch Lane, and they have so many beautiful household things on there. These dishes are what I ordered, and I thought they were so sweet. I love the blue. I don't have anything like them, and they come in sets of four. I ordered two sets of four, and they come with those bowls, this saucer, those plates. Ah, so cute and classic sitting on top of that with a bowl that would make a cute you know just leave it out on your table setting and then the coffee cup and one of my favorite things about these besides the look of them which i think is precious they don't get hot and scald you when you put them in the microwave they're microwave safe dishwasher safe and um, like i just had this coffee in the microwave i warmed it up for a minute and the cup gets warm, but it doesn't get hot, and the liquid is hot. So it doesn't scald you. Um, precious, fast delivery. I love 
these dishes. And I love birch lane. Okay, my next two things are also in the kitchen. And the first one is this pitcher of water. Okay, I got this idea from my functional doctor, my new doctor that just did a ton of testing on me. And she recommended infused water. Now I have done this in the past, but that was a great reminder. Infused water is just a great way to get just a little bit of boost in the vitamins. You know, probably not extreme, but a little bit of boost in the vitamins if I'm drinking water anyway, and it's nice and refreshing. And she recommended something I've never done, and that is celery water and cucumber. I don't think I've ever done cucumber. Definitely not celery, which is very healthy. Sometimes I cut it up, sometimes I just stick it in there depending on how lazy I am. And it's just a little bit of a veggie vitamin boost. If I'm gonna be drinking water anyway, it's just, you know, just adds a little treat to the water I'm already drinking. And then also from my functional doctor, now disclaimer on this, I do not recommend going out and just immediately buying this. I tested low for it and it's DHEA tablets. And I used to take these a long time ago and then had put them down and I have not been taking them for a couple of years. Well, when I had my hormones tested, I had none. I had no DHEA and DHEA is a precursor to your hormones, I believe. It is, I think, a hormone regulator. I had no DHEA and I had no hormones. I was at postmenopausal levels, which is great if you're feeling okay, but I was not. I was not feeling good. So she put me on DHEA to see if she could get my hormones going just a little bit, get a little bit of hormone going. Y'all, I feel amazing. And it was almost instant. DHEA is just great for keeping the skin good, um, for hair loss. If you don't wanna do hormone replacement, and you're not feeling good, ask your doctor to check your DHEA levels. This is over the counter, but I would get my levels checked before I got on it because it can cause anxiety and probably some more serious things. She put me on five milligrams twice a day, and I probably will double that at my next appointment, but she's starting me slow. I feel so good on this. It gave me instant energy, less, way less hot flashes, and so I'm hoping this will keep me off hormone therapy. We will see. I'll keep y'all posted. But I love my DHEA and I love my infused water. Okay, and then while we're out here, I'm gonna do the next one in here because they are in that lamp. And what my next favorite is are chargeable light bulbs. These are chargeable light bulbs that you charge up in case of a power outage. It just looks like a regular light bulb, and then to charge them, you put them, you know, in a light socket. So I put two every day into this lamp, charge them up for eight hours, and then I take them out and put them in storage. So if our electricity goes out, I will have backup of these. I bought about 10 of them. Okay, so this is one that I've already charged up, and I'll show y'all. They also come with a little hook a little light socket hook so you can carry them around. Hold on, I'm gonna screw this in and I'll show it to you. Okay, so I've screwed it into the little light socket and then you just push that button and it turns on. So it's portable with this and you can carry it around or you can put in a lamp or any light socket. So I love these, I bought about 10 of them so I can put them all over the house in case of another blackout this year. Love them. Okay, and to elaborate a little more on that DHEA, again, I wanna say get tested for that. I would not just add it. I wouldn't, it's over the counter, but I wouldn't just add it. But I can tell such a difference in my body skin. Since I started taking that again, my body skin had hit the ground. I was weak, couldn't build any muscle, and I've only been on that about a month, and I'm already, I can tell a diff, such a difference in my arms. Where I'm building some muscle back up, my body skin is looking better. I can't recommend that highly enough. So I would talk to my doctor about it, but I love it. Okay, and then I have one show. It is on Sundance or Acorn, and it's called The Drowning. And y'all, this is such a binge-worthy TV. I think it's only three episodes, maybe four. And I just watched it yesterday, so I really remember it well. Um, it's British, 
And it is about, hold on, I'm going to read it to you because I don't want to give anything away that's not in the summary of it. Okay, let me get my glasses on. The Drowning. Okay, when Jody Walsh's four-year-old son vanished from a lakeside picnic, it was presumed he drowned. But his body was never found, and Jody's always believed he was abducted. Nine years later, she sees a boy whom, whom she's convinced is her son. Jeopardizing the life she's painstakingly built, Jody embarks on a dangerous and morally dark journey to prove the boy is really her son. So she, you know, her son disappears. She sees him out nine years later. Nine? Nine years later, she thinks it's him. And she kind of goes down that path of who's this man that has him? And um, how did this happen? And then the end has a real good, is real good. So anyway, I found this to be very good. Y'all, Acorn or Sundance, I think they're kind of the same. I get this through my Amazon Prime. They have so many good shows that are just like four episodes and just real easy to watch in one day and so entertaining. Right. Okay, and then the rest of this video is going to be spiritual. So if you're not spiritual, you can click off, but thank you so much for visiting me. I always appreciate when you come and visit me. Okay, so first of all, congratulations to the 10 winners of my Bible giveaway. I will do that again. Not yet, because I'll kind of want to get all these Bibles out and settled first, but we will be doing that again. Um, and the Bible that I sent out this time is my, the NIV, this is the version that I just go back to over and over. It's my main that I read every morning, but I also have a lot of other Bibles out in front of me, and one of them is a favorite for this month. I don't think I have ever talked to y'all about a MacArthur study Bible. Y'all, the study notes on this. Okay, I still love my study notes on this one. I'm not discounting this Bible at all. I will do another giveaway with this Bible. I love it. But I also love my MacArthur study Bibles so much that I got two of them. I keep one in there. I keep one in my war room, my prayer closet, because of these study notes. I look at the study notes in my life application, and if I need more clarification, I'll look over here because his study notes are excellent and extensive. So I have the MacArthur Study Bible in the New King James Version. Love. I love it. It's very close to the King James Version, which really sometimes just goes deeper than anything else you can pick up, in my opinion. So I love the New King James Version. It's like King James without the these, thys, thous, and it's more current, but it still keeps that King James Version punch. I love it. Then I got it, I got it in the New American Standard Bible because I have read this is the closest translation to Hebrew that we have. So I wanted a New American Standard, and I love the King James. I usually have one of these with me when I'm reading my NIV, which I still, also still love this, love the study notes. But these study notes, y'all, this is my final authority when I'm looking for a study note. Okay, and then another book that I've just started using a lot, and it's this new illustrated Bible dictionary. Y'all, I use this almost every day. Daily, I get this out for people people in cities, like if I'm reading in the Old Testament right now, I'm reading about David. Well, David is surrounded by people. He's surrounded by priests. He's surrounded by guards, by his warriors. He's surrounded by a lot of people. Well, he'll talk about them. And then five or six chapters later, he's talking about that same person again with the strange name. Who was that? And I go into here I did it today with two people and looked that person up to see what their story is. I use this all the time. And I started thinking, where did I get that? Did I get that in the 90s? My dad gave it to us Christmas of 2014, and I'm just now using it. Love this Bible dictionary. So anyway, if you don't have a Bible dictionary, I like this better than my concordance. I keep this out beside me when I'm studying. I keep this 
I keep a MacArthur study Bible out. And so anyway, I love these and I'm going to do a giveaway with them. This month, I want to give away a Bible dictionary and a MacArthur study Bible. And I'll tell you how to enter at the end of this video. So anyway, I'm going to keep going, but this will be a giveaway. Okay, my next spiritual favorite is my morning routine. Okay, when I get up, reading my Bible is the first thing I do. Well, lately, my schedule has been off, and I am embarrassed to say I have been sleeping till like 10 o'clock for two or three mornings in a row. Well, when I get up that late, by the time I study and put my makeup on, it's one in the afternoon. <laughs> y'all. I do not like to do that. So I, that made me accidentally discover something that I love. And that is I alternate my Bible study with my getting ready. So by the time I'm done, I've got my makeup on and I've finished my Bible study and I'm ready to go work out or get on with my day. And I love that. So what I'm doing is I read a chapter out of the Old Testament and then I go and do my concealer. And then I come back and read a chapter out of a prophet. And then I go back and do my face makeup and my blush. Go back and read a gospel and go back and do something else. I love it so much. When I'm done with my makeup, I can keep reading or I can go work out. But it just kind of feels like I'm managing my time better. And I fell in love with that morning routine. So if you're kind of trying to build up on your Bible study in the morning, but you're thinking, but that gives me such a late start, try doing them interchangeably. I really love doing that. Okay, and that is all of my favorites. So let's talk about the giveaway. Giving away a MacArthur Study Bible and the dictionary. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway is tell me whether you want the black New King, King James Version or the two-tone brown New American Standard Bible. And that will enter you to win whichever one of these you want and the Bible Dictionary. And I will announce two weeks from today, set your alarm so you don't miss it. And um, I think that covers it all. Y'all don't forget to enter down below and that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day, bye.